Playing defensive back in football is often referred to as being on an island. It's a tough position to play. Everybody sees it. And when you make an error, you know, everybody knows your error. Missed tackle on the far sideline by Harris. An island, loosely defined as being isolated. Isolation is the name of the game for a defensive back. For third year Tim Harris, living on that island is just another day on the field. Cornerback especially, that's a confidence position. And um, I feel like you just gotta go out there with that chip on your shoulder, like I'm not gonna get beat. But confidence wasn't always one of Tim Harris's strengths. Arriving as a nervous first year, he didn't have much time to dwell on it, as Harris was inserted into the lineup in just the second game of his first season. I did get thrown into the mix pretty fast. To me, I could have worked better before I got here. When I did come in the weight room a couple times, when I was first and second year, I used to always ask, yo, how much is this? Like, what weight do I put on? He came in as a freshman and really wasn't sure you know, what he should be doing, um, and he really wasn't bought in. Fortunately, Harris had some unique physical gifts to fall back on. It's a kid that possesses a lot of things that you can't coach, you can't give him. He's got height that people at his position don't normally have. He's got speed that people his size don't have. And uh, he's got power that, that not everybody possesses, and he just didn't know how to channel it in here. I got long arms, so like, it's really easy for me to jam a receiver or knock him out that route. Speed-wise, I feel like over this, over this summer and over the winter, I have gotten faster. We got a month left, I'm just keep working hard. Added to his physical gifts and hard work was a supportive coaching staff and group of teammates that allowed him to mature and acquire the necessary confidence. Coach West pretty much told me like, like, it's your time. And then I had different people in my ear telling me, I'm made for this, you're here for a reason. And I just started thinking in my head, I need to just let all this nonsense go, like all this bad stuff, and just continue to play with confidence. Harris with a rare chance to thump his chest, and maybe this game could be just what the youngster needs to get that confidence going. Just a little bit of confidence in yourself will go a long ways. Instead of coming in an exercise that you've seen you know, for the past three years, that's on your sheet and you're looking around to make sure that you're doing it right, know that you're doing it right. You know what you're doing. And, and then that confidence that you take, you take onto the field. Hey, in this coverage, I know I'm supposed to be in this spot. One thing about being a defensive back, you gotta respond and live that one play and that one play's over because you gotta go on to the next play. I like really focused on if I get beat, don't just be mad at yourself or get down at yourself, you know, just keep playing. Now with a confident attitude and the promise of a new season ahead, Tim Harris is poised to fulfill the expectations of his coaches and of himself and to succeed playing on the island. The goal for Tim is to put them together so where he's dominant on the field. I believe he can be dominant. He has to believe that he can be dominant. Tim Harris, to, to me, is a guy that uh, has improved and his best football is ahead of him. I feel like I'm gonna just try to lead the team the best way I can, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I really just want to do anything I can do just to keep us consistent and uh, keep us winning.